Oh, let me stop it first. Um, did our our friend, our pathetic friend Eileen, that comes here once in a while. Let me let me reward that for you. Did our our so-called friend and or acquaintance? Yeah, well, it's more of an acquaintance. Did our so-called friend actually acquaintance Eileen? When she dashed out of here without saying goodbye to us, did she hook up with that freak Ray? Oh my God. Yeah, the, uh, the loud, obnoxious freak. Oh. Oh boy, that, that's a pretty disgusting sight. I don't know what's worse, uh, two, two sh uh, shriveled, wrinkled, oh, but, elderly but, people having sex oh, with them. My God. But. Oh yeah, she's a hypocrite, the way she defends. I'm gonna tell her that Jimmy on his computer, he tracked down your uh, Jerry Gullah. We got, Jimmy got his phone number. Yeah, wait till I get here when you, when yeah, you do it. I am, let's say. Because this way, got his phone number. this way I can sub. Well, she's sitting there, I'm just gonna go like this. Are you Jerry? Uh, yes, you are. And, and if she hypocritically gets angry, then we could throw up to her face how she dashed out of here yeah. without saying what, goodbye. What was that all about? Uh, oh, as, because okay. Ray showed up, yeah. the obnoxious. Uh, oh. Whispered, whispered, he gets up. Nah, 30 seconds, you're running out like a little dog in heat. You, you, know, you notice how their, the volume of their voices got very low yeah. before they left? We're not fools. You don't no, have to we be. Are, we are, but not in that aspect. We don't have to be Sherlock Holmes and use deductive reasoning to yes, know what do. happened. Yes, we do. Watson. With them? <laughs> oh, I just, I just found out why I'm still getting bills for for the anesthesiologist. Holy name was sending it to the wrong address, United, the wrong United Healthcare address. Great. And I found out today if I didn't make the phone call, I would have made a payment for nothing. So the girl says, oh, no, 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 don't make a payment. We don't have the right P.O. box for United Healthcare." I says, well, what? I says, wait a minute. You know how many times I, I, I told the holy name, I gave them my insurance information? How many? This is what, like, what you were dad, your, what your dad used to say to you. Com there's just so much incompetence. You just can't get through the fees. It's like, no, no matter, you call... You call offices, this is what they get for getting cheap labor. They want cheap labor, they get incompetence. This is, it's a, it's a good thing I didn't send the money. My buddy just got a United Healthcare. On his PSENG bill, he got a shutoff notice. Yeah, but he said, I, he called him and he said, I've never missed a goddamn payment. You didn't send me last month's bill. Whose fault is that? You know who also does that? Um, auto insurance pulled that on me. Bottom line is, I told him, I said, Mike, why do they say we're, to say we're sorry the next month or two is on us? They never give you anything back, do oh, they? Oh, they don't apologize. Oh, they're well, like yeah, Donald they do. Trump. That's all they do. Oh, we're I'm very sorry, sorry sir. We're very, no, what are you going to do to show me you're sorry? Give me a month or two of free, free uh, energy? You do that? Oh, you don't want to hear that. Well, I told you how. I told you how Verizon. Fios disrespected us when they dropped the American Hero channel, and I asked them why because no, I. I don't think they did. I think they just changed the name of it. No, well, well, when I go to it, it says it's not in your plan anymore. Oh, you? Okay. What's, what me. number was it? Oh, you have Fios. I have Verizon Fios. Oh, well, yeah, I have, op I have uh, right. uh, uh, Optimum, Optimum so which which is ha which is where I yeah. should have stood. So when I call them, when I contact them, they say. Um, the guy says, "Oh, if you want, if you want that one channel back, pay us sixty dollars more a month." Like, are you out of your For mind? Are you out of your mind? HBO was only like nine or five, seven. I says, "You know what? You're this is a slap in the face you're to your an, customers." You're an idiot. You know what? And I says, "I'm. You know what? Your um, your technicians when they almost went on strike, I was a security officer at the time." I says, and I'm glad I sided with your technicians and their union because you wanted them to, to you wanted to double their workload for the same pay. Now I know why they, they hated you. They hated corporate Verizon. 
because what you what you just did to me, being so petty. You know how petty this is. I told $60. him. Sixty dollars. You want sixty bucks for extra a month for one stinking no, channel? No, I don't believe so. I name any other channel that costs that much. Why this one? You're doing this. I told, and after you ring my doorbell and nag me to death to switch from Optimum to Verizon FiOS. And then you, you say to me, my, my internet is going to be so lightning fast. I says, guess what? You yeah. lied to me again. You told me it was a dedicated, they said it was a dedicated fiber optics line. That means I'm not sharing it. Guess what? It's a lie. I'm part of a network. If I want a dedicated line, I have to pay even more money for a dedicated line. So they lied again. It's, it's like it's a perpetual... It's like everything's about like lying and disrespecting your customer uh, nowadays. Sixty dollars for what? No, no, they're a liar. They're a liar. I mean, I mean, hospitals are ripping off, you know, insurance and Medicaid. Or where does it end? When you think about it, really. When does it end? It's almost like if you're unethical, it's the norm today. They've made they made underhandedness the norm, the normal. Oh wow! I think I felt a puff of air. No, you didn't. I'm imagining. No, you, you are. In other words, it's like I'm in a desert, look, uh, seeing a mirage, right? Your puff was maybe me coming over. The I think breeze. that was you walking over. There was no puff. Trust me. Puff the magic dragon. You can't give us air. The hottest days of the year. Tomorrow's going to be 90, 93 or 4. You, know, you can't give us air. You notice when the high gets down to like 80, it's like ice cold central air in here. You notice well, the that? Last week it was so cold I said, could you turn the air off? It's freezing over here. Well, at least turn it down. No, off. It was brutal. But when you really need it, and they don't turn it on. I'm like, come on. You know, I'm gonna have to add in a what's the correct word, appendage or appendix, to the to the uh, the, the bad review I gave this owner, this oh. franchise owner, appendix, yeah. right? Appendage. Or appendices or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to extend my my review. But make sure you give them examples. Oh boy, did when I. It's, when it's hot or. There's no air. When it's cold as shit outside, there's no heat. Believe me, I already complete. I already it? left the Gettysburg Address. Oh, it's insanity. I already left the long one, but it's gonna have to be longer. It's gonna have to be longer. There's no excuse for this. And I'm still waiting for all these to get back to me. Oh, you contacted the home office? I couldn't get a person. I had to do it online. Okay. It's like it's like applying for a job. Where are they? It's online. Illinois. Same as McDonald's? Oh, McDonald's main office yeah. is Illinois? Yes. I think they start in the Midwest. Oh. So did uh, White Castle start in the Midwest, I think. Oh. Yeah. It seems like when it comes to like hamburgers, they... Is there, is there a company called Smash Burgers? Because I saw, I saw an advertisement that one's supposed to open up in this region, in this area. in this region. They're here. Smash Burger? Yeah, they've been here for a long time. Yeah. Huh. I forget where, but they're all around the area. Yeah. Yeah. Same like Five Guys. You know, we, you know, we need to, uh, to, to do battle against these greedy uh, diner owners is Denny's. We need, we need some Denny's to open up. Yeah, 24, they're, they're like Howard Johnson's. I used to love Howard Johnson's. Oh, they're fried clams. And, and what about the blueberry, real blueberry pancakes? Yeah. yeah. I used to go there after after oh, the dance clubs. This stuff is good. In Saddlebrook, they used to be one in Saddlebrook, right? Well, that was the Howard Johnson's. They well, had a health club, you know. Where I stayed in La Quinta, in Paramus, that was originally Howard Johnson's and the Howard Johnson's restaurant. Who now, uh, since I left La Quinta, Rubble. Oh, wait a minute. They knocked the whole thing down. I think there's a Howard Johnson's on Route 3 in Clifton, come to think of it. Uh, or maybe be, the, maybe the restaurant closed, but the, the hotel, it. yeah. You know, the whole thing with La, Qu La Quinta, it's like the way the rooms are, it's like really bizarre. It's like they're not always in chronological order. Like you have, like they have separate buildings. In other words, you got the rooms numbered, right? Bop, bop, bop. And then it ends, and then it continues in like a separate building. No, we only have one big building. 
or maybe it depends on location. Now, we only had one big building, three floors. Now, there were no separate buildings. And right next door was Hooters. Yeah. Well, I heard Cliff, the one in Clifton by Round, uh, not Round Robin, Ro uh, what is that, 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 that place Red to eat? Robin. Red Robin. With that stupid commercial where they go, hum, Red Robin, yum, yum. Oh, oh, that's real slick, yum. Okay, I'd rather hear we have the meats. I'd rather hear you do Arby's shows with the, the sandwich, the whole bit, and Arby's. We have the meats. You know Whole Foods in Edgewater used to have freshly made, overnight smoked brisket and pulled pork. Oh. And home-style barbecue baked beans with fresh oh, coleslaw. Whole, whole Foods in Edgewater, they did away with it. It was right next to Jamba Juice, a company called Jamba well, Juice. That's supposed to be good for natural juice drinks. Yeah, yeah. it's a juice bar. Yeah. And you want wheatgrass, you want this, yeah. you want that, yeah. Good stuff. It was a great company. They're out of California. Yeah, and they had it there, right next, and they had, oh man, barbecue. But for some reason, barbecue just doesn't catch on in the Northeast. Good barbecue. It's popular everywhere. It is. It is. A lot of people loved it. I loved it. And man, they used to pile the, pu the pulled pork like this yeah, high. Don't give me the stuff with the barbecue is seasonal up here. Don't give me that crap. Oh, like those idiots at all these? Oh, I told them. I says, I says, how could shepherd's pie be seasonal? When I went for the ice cube trays, remember? Seasonal. Se I said, what do you mean? seasonal. Nobody makes ice cubes. I, said, I use everybody uses ice cubes all, the, all year long. What do you mean seasonal? What if you had a, a, a get together in your apartment? And you're making drinks. And you're making martinis for for guests. I said, what do you mean seasonal? Where are you supposed to get ice? Are you going to tell me next? Ice cream is seasonal. People eat ice cream all year long. I, I think any any. I don't think, Jimmy, bottom line, nothing is seasonal anymore. Don't give me no. Nothing right. Is, nothing is. Seasonal. Any Dairy Queen owner that closes up for the winter is a fool, in my opinion. Our staff, you or, go, you go away. Or car. Our staff and you stay open. Don't close. It's not seasonal. People love their ice cream. Of course, just because it's um, it's uh. 32 degrees or, or but 20 Jimmy, degrees, that doesn't mean I won't have a milkshake. Jimmy, Jimmy, ice cubes are seasonal? Come, stop it. Stop it right now. I, yeah. said, I told him, I said, what? I said, how can you call that seasonal? Yeah, so so nobody has get-togethers in the winter. And nobody Gee. wants shepherd's pie in the winter. Right, mashed potatoes right. and ground beef. And, are you and, out oh, of your mind? Hey, what about Christmas Eve? What if you have Christmas Eve at your place? What are you supposed to do? You have... You supposed to go buy a sack of ice cubes? I tell him, I said, where do you all get this from? It's not seasonal. I said, please. It is stupid corporate hogwash. It is dumb. It's dumb. Seasonal. I said, do they train you all to think we're all stupid? They're like robotic when they say live lobsters are seasonal. Well, they still get them in, ship them in. There's still, you can get them anywhere. Well, the price, anyway. but maybe the price, the price is seasonal. All right. What was it? I forgot. About, some about uh, Eileen leaving with Ray. Yeah, I know. Um, um, oh. Something about how she loves her so-called guy so much. Would she have really hooked up with that freak, Ray? Okay. If, uh, if our acquaintance, Eileen, if our acquaintance Eileen loved her so-called guy, loved her so-called guy, so my guy, much. so very much, would she have run off with the crackpot Ray? Would she have run off with the crackpot Ray? Yes. Oh, is it because Eileen is really desperate to get laid? God, she's better off with a dildo than that guy, the freak of nature. Could I yeah, here, better off with a dildo. There's our acquaintance, mine and Jimmy's acquaintance from McDonald's here. Eileen, does she really love her so-called my guy all that much? Is our acquaintance Eileen a total load of bullshit? Yeah. 
Mitzah. I mean, birds of a feather do flock together. And they and they don't be naked though. No, we don't want we don't want freaks to to reproduce. Okay. Well, I don't care if she can. She's fifty something. I'm sure she's been through enough. Oh, then forget about it. She really? She's that? Oh, she look fifty-five or something. She looks younger. Yeah. yeah. I mean, menopause. It's funny how it's called menopause. Menopause. And it's only about women. Yeah, right. And and then um, midlife crisis. What do they call when when a when a guy goes bonkers? Midlife crisis. Buys sports cars and stuff. He starts, he starts going bald and and he, and out of shape. He's older, and then he gets himself a a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Well, think about it. It's understandable. You don't like nobody likes getting older. Yeah, Ferrari um, Testarossa. They still make that? No. That was in the past. Okay. They make all different models. Right? The Countach is still made of Lamborghini. No, no, no? different models. Oh. They used. To, you know, I thought it was so ridiculous. There used to be a Lamborghini dealer on Essex Street still is, over it? here in uh, by Liquidators in the uh, um, no, Lodi or Maywood. Here. You're pointing to Lodi. It's over here. Oh, on Essex Street. Yeah. yeah. No, I think it still is. Unless it left. Yeah, I mean they should have they should have opened up in like Alpine or Franklin Lakes or Inglewood Cliffs. I've always been a fool. I like Ferraris. Lamborghinis just in the box. I don't know. Yeah, Ferrari. I wonder if Ferrari is connected to Fiat and Alfa Romeo. I know Alfa Romeo and Fiat. I might might, might be one. You know, it's getting really. It's getting worse, isn't it? Worse. Yes. Uh, you know what? You're we right. About five, ten, yeah. Let's right. get the hell out of here. Man, oh man, it's just uncomfortable. You shouldn't do this to your customer base. You know, I really, I really don't have the 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 logic in my mentality to know what question to ask because. There's no excuse to treat your customers that way. I mean, the way, you know, it's like... For you sure you can make money by being a total screw-up. You can be a fuck-up and still make money. You don't have to know what you're doing. Isn't that something? Or you, or you, can, you, can, be a, you can be a top-of-the-line scumbag. I, I was reading an article about uh, Jeff Bezos of Amazon, how abusive he is, is he he is to work for in the, of, in the office. He's got, like, quotas on his office people. And, really? Yeah, it's a, um, See, don't, 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 don't. and even in a warehouse, it's like they called it a sweatshop, and oh, really? slave driving sweatshop. And you ever take a look at him? He's got a douchebag looking face. Did he, where he come from? With a, he he's come got from a dildo nothing? looking bald head. Did he come from nothing? I don't know his background, but I've I, never heard of a self made man. Or I really don't know. I mean, I mean, in, nowadays. Or in most cases, somebody's got to give you a big break in, in the business world for you to really make it huge. You have to know the right people. You can't, like, you know, very rarely does Joe Blow from Idaho open up a mom and pop store and then just grows and grows and grows and grows and, grows and then you, then it goes public on the stock exchange and then it goes, you go corporate. I mean, I mean, real self-made, like, like a hundred percent. But then again, you see a lot of stupid decisions by corporations, like Cracker Barrel. Everybody loves it to pieces. Why aren't you in the big, <coughs> the wealthiest county in the country, Bergen County? You're, the nearest one is way out towards the Delaware Water Gap. So what's your CEO saying? Expansion? We've got to look at our regions. Or around the holidays, you get catalogs with um, you know the gift packages that have the the cheddar cheese and salamis and smoked sausages. Oh, Harry and David and all those. How come yeah. you don't see retail outlets that, that sell those? The, people love that. Maybe they want to stay that way. They don't want to go through. They want to stay through mail. Order. I mean, I I or, think I think that's better than getting flowers that die, that die on you and like. Yeah, you're lucky for three to five days, maybe. And, you know what I, I, I heard uh, that no I didn't hear it I read it if you if some if a woman gets roses and she hangs them upside down on the wall instead of putting them in a vase of water they become perfect dry flowers they 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 stay to not that I care but yeah, that's kind of stupid yeah 
you know, like Omaha Steaks, they have stores. Smart, yeah. smart business idea. Ridgewood's been open over 20 years, and they are packed. I've tasted their burgers. They're phenomenal. Everything they make is phenomenal. Everything they make is great. You know, and I really enjoy the uh, grass-fed, organic uh, pat, uh, beef patties. 100% at all these. They're a third pound. They're like this thick. They're get third. now. It's probably going to go seasonal. Oh, yeah. Cattle is seasonal. Yeah, watch. They're going to tell me Burgers that. Burgers are seasonal. <laughs> but you got to be a real moron to say that shepherd's pie is seasonal. Come on, all these. What's next? The, the, the sausage, the knockwurst, the frankfurters. That, that's going to be seasonal? I think it's fine. I think their brain cells are seasonal. I'm trying to think of a a company that went belly up that was damn good. Oh, Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips. No, they're still open. Are they really? Yeah, certain areas. Well, Long John Silver's is still huge, not around here anymore. Roy Rogers. They're open too, I think, but not around here anymore. You know, you know what I used to see advertised that we don't have is Jack in the Box. Remember them? They're the only one when we did have it was Bourbonfield. That was the only one. Come on, Jimmy. You didn't have one on Route 4 or 17? They had that oh. Rodney Allen Rippy kid advertised yeah, no, for it. No, Remember? No. Those are good burgers, too. You've had a Jack in the Box yeah, burger? they're good. Yeah, they're good. And the closest one was Bourbon. Yeah, who was this Carl Jr.'s and Bacalat? What the hell is this guy? Carl oh. Jr. and... Uh, a real easy Hardy, name. Hardy. And Hardy's. Yeah. They had to have a long name. They're right? very good. They're, They're good, very right? Good. Oh, Sh Shannon Rose's food is pretty decent. I heard it's very good. And they got a great hangout at, at, on the weekends. Yeah, and I heard they're, they're very professional. The staff is well trained. Except for one problem. One of their bouncers happens to be Brian Slate. Oh, they hired that more to be... Can he, he can't fight him. He couldn't fight him. His way out of a paper bag. He works in, in the one in Clifton. A bouncer. He's a bouncer there. Yeah, I'm a bouncer. And, and he and he's a bail bondsman in Hackensack now. It's a fag ass. He opened up a bail bail, bail bondsman. Well, he originally had Canada Dry um, routes. I'm not. What do you call them? It's a franchise. I remember but how Freddie got of me when he saw me? He would not come over to Dunkin' Donuts anymore. The bottom feeder, Brian. The bottom feeder slate. Uh, you know what I? I sent him a message, he never replied. I sent him a message saying, why don't you call your bail bondsman? See, he's running from everybody. Why don't you call it Big Balls Brian, he's a fag ass. bail bondsman? He's a fag ass. That would be funny if he actually did that, right? Big Balls Brian's bail bondsman. No bail is too small. Wait, let me tell you something. William Morrow, I remember you. You know you know James, don't you? Yeah, right. Can you mention a guy that's short? Well, he's bouncing. No, bouncing. Well, maybe... Oh, he's going to strike fear of people. He's, he's dribbling don't a basketball. Don't punch, he'll be out. He can't fight. He's no fighter. Well, when he used to work Pub 46 and there was a fight broke out, he would let everybody else dive in and then he would be like an extra on the outside. Coward. A fake. He's a fake. Listen, no one has any justification, and I mean no one, to, to snub us, to snub us like they were el elitists and better than we are. Oh, I, I would have busted him at the shirt just when I was a, when I was a boxer. My buddies came in, and, and the guy that discovered me was he was the former trainer. Lou Duvin, right? No, no. former trainer of, of uh, uh, Roberto Duran. Oh, okay. He said, I've never seen a heavyweight. Nobody's as fast and as powerful. They tried to get me to go pro. Well, my buddy Vinny one night, I was in the hallway of the chair. Waiting, and Vinny comes over with six of my other buddies. They were all pro boxers, and they're laughing. I'm like, what? What's so funny? I said, you can't get a fight. I said, what do you mean? I said, nobody will fight you. No training. You couldn't get a training partner. Right? I don't know what to say. And all I, I they laugh at my, my responses. What do I do? And Vinny one night asked me, the guys, with all the guys, he was like, give me your best shot in my stomach. I said, no. No, 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 so no. I knew no. how strong I was. I said, I'll tap you. So 
so I tapped him. Right on his knees and went, oh, God. Can you imagine if you were to wail? I said, Vinny, that's why I said no, no. Did you, I said, everybody said, don't mess with this guy. They no, said, don't mess with him. A, prof a professional, well-trained prize fighter, to me, that's a form of martial art. I watched the movie, there was a time where I was watching all the Kung Fu and martial arts movie on Netflix, right? One of the movies was this prize fighter, this British guy, was in the ring challenging uh, Kung Fu experts and masters, no, uh, you know, martial had, arts, and, they, and he was he was knocking them out. Years ago they had a, a Kung Fu, my one buddy in college was a Kung Fu grandmaster. Yeah, I'm not putting them down. There's don't only give like four in the world. Yeah. And Kung Fu grandmasters admitted the greatest fighter in the world is a pure boxer. I mean, a high level boxer. A pure boxer. Yeah. And here I was, I couldn't get a fight. You know how I met Big Richie? How? Big Richie, you never met him. This is before no. I met you. He's a shirt. Big Richie, think about this. Golden Gloves, state champion, New York, super heavyweight. So one night, Richie, this is how we met. I'm behind him by about five yards. His back's to me, and he's getting me. To somebody, he's going to shut the fuck up. Uh, he's yelling, he's yelling, he turns around and sees me. Oh! He says, fuck this shit. I heard about you. He goes, can I shake your hand? I said, yeah, that's a good sit down and shut up. You know, that's when we became good friends. Now, now this British prize fighter, what he was doing was, he was lightning jabbing him. He was, he had a, he was a tall man, had a long, he had the long reach. He was jab, jab, jab. Andy Magnifico, Durant's trainer. Yeah. I've never seen a heavyweight. The, the, the only, the only, the only problem is with taekwondo karate even boxing you have to have distance between you and your opponent if you take gracie no, no, no. gracie style jujitsu no. mma you know they grab my buddies who knew me well they grapple billy can knock the shit out of you give him three to five inches because he'll just bang, real quick yeah he'll knock you out like like if a gracie style it doesn't matter jujitsu I, I will hit you far or i'll hit you close try to Grant, grapple you. Andy brought in these boxers. Back then, you you know, a lot of great boxers came from Indiana. He used to come to the uh, arena. Right. And he'd say, Billy, this is so come, come on, I want you guys to come down in the bathroom to spar. I said, Andy, I'm stoned on my ass. Let's just come down and spar for a few seconds, show him what you, how <laughs> great you are. So I'd go down, the guy would try to throw. I blocked everything, I just went, bam! I stopped right here to say, bam! And the guy's like, whoa! You know? Just to show that you make, you could make a connection. Speed, power, I can do what I want. Yeah. See, my problem was I laughed when I boxed. Because I knew you can't touch me. I'll destroy you. I was blocking everything and there just all of a sudden one swipe. It was like a bear pole hitting you up and down. It was a heavy arm. I had a heavy arm. Yeah. And speed. And then, like I said, Andy Magnifico, former trainer of Durant, said, there yeah. has never been well, a your, heavyweight. Your, your grip is connected to your forearms. Yeah, uh, and that's, and that's the punch. That's no, the punch. it doesn't matter. Some guys have what's called a heavy arm. Their punch will hurt hard. A guy, two pitchers will throw 90 miles an hour. One will hurt more than the other. It's a heavy arm. It's what's called a heavy oh, arm. Oh, that's why some fastball pitches were not big. Even we're not the, big guys. Even at the same speed, it will come in like, differently. Like Ron Guidry was not a big guy. But he brought in all these guys, and they couldn't come close. And I said, can I go back upstairs? But when Vinny and them came in, I said, you can't get a fight. What do you mean? There's nobody will fight you. I said, well, what do I do, Vinny? No. But my parents talked me out of it anyway. They said, no, you don't want to go pro boxing. Stay with your football. That was, this was, okay, that's when it was. It was before, it was before 78 when I went to the Jets. Right. It was 76, 77. And that's then, what it was. And then you had to deal with office politics and oh, professional oh, football. Oh. And even college football, what am I saying? High school. Remember when I moved up from Texas? You, you, you dealt with politics then, then, right? Right away. That was my first intro to politics. But did you encounter office politics going all the way up into Every the NFL? level. And I run into other players like myself, different teams. Right. And they said, is it? It's amazing. 
It's a, it doesn't make sense. Isn't that a tragedy that, that a superior talent Ask it. Is, is a victim of office policy? In sports. In profession. No, no, in sports, the best and the greatest don't always get to play, do they? Is it true that in professional sports, the best and the greatest do not always get to play? Yes. Probably applies to... Does this also apply to the entertainment industry and acting? Let me, let me do that. You, you word it over. Your one word changed the whole meaning. No, no. This was the second question. I know, but the first one did. Should have been a It's no. a shame. That's a tragedy that... that it, it's like... Um, a, a, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. All right, go ahead. In sports... The best and the greatest don't always get to play, do they? That's what I asked. That's what I asked, Billy. No, you said, is it true that? And I made it into a yes. Oh, 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 okay. That's why I said that one word. Watch how you word things with this. Always learn your wording is crude. Look at that. It's like, no. The best and the greatest don't always get to play, see? Get right Interesting. Succinct, right to the point. So, so that... That means that the people in authority are not always qualified to be in authority. That's right. It's saying it's going clockwise, Billy. Yeah, but you, you gotta watch your questions again. You don't no, I, I asked it you straightforward. Don't go, so that means you don't have to do that. Oh, okay. Don't go with the lead ins the whole bit. Just say, what was your question again? Oh, the people in charge, people in authority, are they are, are are they often not qualified to be in authority? Very often, people in authority should not be in authority or given positions of authority, should they? See? Yeah. And, 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 and that, and, that, watch your word. and, that. Look at and that creates the office politics. Okay, but look at your wording. One word can change from a yes to a no. Just like one decimal point can change a, 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 a money. Watch your wording. It's a cent to the point. Just don't go things like, so that means, so this is, no. I mean, it could be anything. It could be a producer, a director. It could be, oh my God. It could be ooh, an owner of a sports team. Oh, is there? Is there an awful lot of politics in sports? Is there an awful lot of politics in sports? See, right to the point. Quick question. Yeah. So what I'll do from now on is I'll do verbatim from you. Yeah. Like like. Don't give leaders so that means therefore you you're talking about or like go, you know uh, just say bam is this what's going on oh yeah no. Eileen also says you know all the time right you know Billy you know Billy yeah, um, you're up. what do I say to her no I don't I don't know why do you keep saying I know I don't know well, well, well next time she's here there's something we do know is that she hooked up with that freak and jimmy jimmy got up uh your, your, your so-called guy jerry's phone number quack quack hey she's using a little mysticism huh? you're using a little mysticism here with it's, the pendulum it's, it's hot it's here. steamy it's humid but guess what my oh, car is ice cold and so is my house uh, you air, need okay. air conditioning. The, 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 the air broke. Oh my God! Oh, it broke. Oh, you have to get it fixed. Come on. Well, is, it my the, landlord, it. is it the? I think it, he has to call the board of health. Oh, He's you got, got a to. landlord like a lot of people got a landlord. He's like a uh, like a slumlord. Call the board of health. The, Say, bil hey, come on, the building uh, building inspector department in your borough hall. He, uh, oh, by the way, oh, maybe it's the. Well, whatever it is, he's supposed to fix it. Damn, damn, damn it. Landlords are responsible. You're not. You're, you're renting. You're not owning. I would call the Board of Health. Like, in other words, no, let's say... Like New York has. If you're not getting heat or if you're not getting air, air in the winter summer, call this number, toll, blah, blah, blah. Same here. Or if your Board sink is dripping and, it, and you hear it in the middle of the night, bing, 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 drip, 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 drip. You call the landlord, hey, 
send a plumber down, or if there's an, a toilet bowl problem. I uh, we, in Ridgewood, the, usually our maintenance guys were great where I lived in Ridgewood. This one time they didn't fix anything. I said, fuck this. I call, I, I asked them once. I waited a half hour, and I called the Board of Health. They were up there right away. They said, what's wrong? I said, I don't need this shit, okay? So the rent we pay in this town? I said, oh, I want it fixed. And they came over and they said, why did you call the Board of Health? I said, you didn't do that. You don't do anything. I called you. What did you do? I bet the taxes are high, too, in Ridgewood. Oh, well, I Home know, you don't pay taxes if you're renting. No, not if you're renting. I said, this is insane. But the rents are premium, you know, I mean. Uh, 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 you're paying a premium rent. You're entitled to get to have the basic necessities of life: electricity, a roof that don't leak, plumbing that works. So, like the time your bathroom went kaput. I like that word kaput. Well, it's not kaput. I need to go out. Kaput. Yeah, that means. You go kaput. It's like cahoots. That's a funny well, word. Here when you They're in cahoots. Really you know what? This uh, owner is a bona fide scumbag of this establishment. I, I see that. I'm going. You know, I'm, a lot of that equipment is older than the kids you've got working here. Twenty-five, six years old, and you've got kids that are eighteen, nineteen. Come I'm, I'm going to add to my review on Google. I have a long review about this place, and I'm going to add well, to I hope it. you do. James. Oh, I'm progressive discussions on, on the internet. Okay, because I, I was looking up um, on Yelp. Uh, the, the, um, well, Google's better than Yelp. I used to be on Yelp. Google's Google's definitely more advanced and more, yeah. I grew up in a computer family, a very big one. I don't believe in all this stuff. He knows I hate it. But you know what I don't I like? people get addicted. I don't like it. You know what I don't you like? You talk. I'm getting my food. No, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be up there. No, go ahead and talk. Because I'm, I'm getting hot. I'm getting sweaty. Yeah. You know what I don't like is when... Um, I have that effect on God. Like people, people <laughs> that send you... People that text you. Instead of texting you the whole story, they'll send you a thousand little baby yeah. texts. You and you have no idea what this and, is. and your phone keeps on going off. Ding, 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 ding. Just tell me. Exactly. Tell me in one shot. Yeah. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta yeah. get out of here. Bye. Bye bye. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.